Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Let's Spill the Tea, and it's going to be about my second gym stalker. This one was my probably scariest gym stalker I've ever had. I've had like little minor ones here and there and then I'll link the first video if you guys want to watch that one to my first gym stalker. Um, that person is just intense but like not, I don't feel like the first one was like super dangerous. Uh, this one, my second one, definitely different situation. So yeah, let's get into this video and just be careful at the gym i don't know my advice i guess i mean i mind my own business so unfortunately this stuff happens even if you don't like do anything to have it come to you but yeah so this happened back in october 2020 so this is also mask you know mask season still is but like mask season so this person literally does not know what I actually fully look like which is bizarre to me I don't know why people are hitting on people in masks like no offense it's kind of weird if like you're about that life that's whatever that's you but like for me personally it's a little weird obviously looks are not the only thing that matters but you should be attracted to the person you're with to some extent and yes I think personality definitely helps that a lot because honestly it's going to be what you pick at the end well, hopefully it's what you pick mostly but I still feel like majority of humans want to be somewhat physically attracted to the person they're with so this is like way off subject but like weird it's weird to me that people are hitting on people in masks that's all but yeah whatever works for people I guess if that's what makes you go crazy whatever anyways so this happened back in October I walked into the gym one night this is just gonna be like super whack but I walked into the gym one night and there was this girl in front of me and she was like all excited about I think some game that was on. And so she was all excited to work out. Some good thing happened with some game. I can't remember what if it was like a sports game or whatever. But she was like super stoked. And she walks in. She's all happy, whatever. Goes to her to work out. I was doing back that day. And I noticed this guy like when I was like warming up because I warm up on the treadmill for like five to ten minutes. So I'm like on the treadmill for like my warm up or whatever. And I noticed this guy on one of the other treadmills I think. I think it was a treadmill. And he had like this giant hole in the back of his shirt. Like this big in the top part of his shirt. And I was like why would you wear that to the gym? Like this is my brain just like you know going. And then he like turned around and I got this super creepy feeling over me. And I was just like hmm okay. He did not look at me either. He just like turned around and like, I don't know what happened, but something weird happened. And like, I'm pretty good at reading people right away. I can like feel, I guess their energy is a good way to explain it. I can kind of tell like how you're going to be before I like even talk to you. And it's usually 100% of the time, right? Honestly, at this point it has been, which is like awesome and kind of weird all at the same time. But I, just, I did, I got this like super weird vibe from him and I was just like, what the heck is this? So I finished my warm up, I go stretch. And then I start working out. So I'm on that one of the back machines and I notice him talking to this girl and she's like getting super annoyed. And you know, I'm like used to being a girl. So I'm always trying to watch out for all the other girls. Cause I just don't want them to get into anything. If they do, I want to like, you know, be paying attention so I can either like stick up for them or go talk to the person for them. Either way, I'm always trying to watch out for my girls. I got your backs cause we got to watch out for each other in this world or bad things can happen to us. So I started like paying attention. I wanted to make sure she was okay. And so he's like talking to her and she seems okay because this other guy comes over and starts kind of like intercepting him. And so I go back to doing like a set and like literally in that one set, so 15 like pulls for your back, I can't remember what they're called right now, but like back pulls, lat pulls maybe, I don't know, whatever. I'm like doing that and literally I look back over and she's gone and I'm like, what the heck just happened and then I look in front of me and he's in front of me and I'm like okay okay what's going on right now <laughs> like she's gone he's right here now and so I was like super confused and I like pulled my headphone off because I'm just like what the heck and he's like did you see me talking to that girl and I was like um I saw part of it he's like can you believe that she just like left and I'm like I don't I don't know and so, I'm super awkward, 
because I'm really shy in person, like I'm just awkward. And I'm just like, um, you know, look at him like, please help me, what is wrong with this person? And he's like, I don't understand why women are so weird, blah, blah, he's just going on and on. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, what is going on right now? And he's all like, oh, I really like your headphones. So I wear cat headphones to the gym back in that time frame. They were pink, those ones broke, so I got black ones. But anyways, I'm wearing these cat headphones and he's like, do you like anime? And I'm like, yeah, um, but I wear my cat headphones because I also really like cats. <laughs> I don't know. So then he starts trying to talk to me about anime. And I'm like, okay, I, I really need to get back to my workout. So, you know, like super awkward and weird. He's like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. So he leaves, I get back to my workout. I do a few different things and then I'm at the like, what are they called? Oblique crunches, I guess. Where you like stand sideways and crunch your obliques, you know? And he comes back over to me and I'm like, oh no, here we go again. And he's like, I don't understand what's wrong with women. Like, why are women so weird? Blah, 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 blah. Like, freaking out. And I'm just like, um, I don't know. He's like, I've been on a date, or I've been on dates with over a hundred women, and I don't understand, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like sitting there like, oh my gosh, this person's crazy. And I'm just like, that's not like something to brag about. That's actually kind of crazy, but okay. And I'm just like sitting there like confused, and he's just going on and on and on. And I'm like, okay, um, and luckily he was all like, okay, well, I just, I have to go. Sorry for bothering you and just like, leave. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like this person's going to leave me alone, right? Wrong. So probably a week goes by and I see him again at the gym and he comes right over to me again. He's super intense and like all angry still about that girl so angry that she didn't like him that she wouldn't like go on a date with him i'm guessing i don't know what he said to her honestly and he's just like acting all crazy and i'm just like what is going on he's calling women all kinds of terrible names and i'm just like okay <laughs> i'm just like super awkward and whatever he goes i like talking to you because you're not a b-word and i'm just like okay you don't even know me like and so he goes off, works out, whatever. I finish working out and I go on this hydro bed because we have hydro beds at my gym. So I'm on the hydro machine bed and I'm just like enjoying my life. And I get up and come out and then I like check out of the gym to leave. And he like beelines it to me. And I'm like, Oh dear, here we go. What's going on with this man? He's acting crazy. And he literally follows me out of the building, follows me to my car. And like at this point, I'm getting nervous because he already makes me super uncomfortable and feel really weird and just like not safe. And he like is talking to me and he's basically hinting he wants to go on a date. And I'm just like, I'm not interested like you don't want to go on a date I'm really bad at lying so I'm just like sitting there like so confused and this whole time he is talking to me there is another man in his car watching because this guy is that creepy he is literally making sure I am safe this total stranger is making sure I am safe he literally sat there the entire time he sat there until I got into my own car so that tells you how creepy this man is because even people that literally have no idea the situation obviously can tell something's up so he literally sat there and waited till I left and so he's like talking to me he's being all creepy and like I read an article a couple years back where like men were like killing women and torturing them and hurting them and doing all this crazy stuff if they don't give them their phone numbers and like he was like super off so I like figured he would be crazy and like probably flip out on me and in a way I'm kind of glad this all happened the way it did because I literally have proof of how psycho this person is but he wanted to switch phone numbers I was too I was like super terrified so I just like went with it I was gonna put his phone number in but he wouldn't let me do it he had to do it and this man literally puts I don't this guy literally puts Jason hot guy at the gym 
And then in company, which I've never seen anyone put something in the company section, but in the company section, he puts cool guy. And I was like, what the hell is this? Like, who does that? Whatever. So he puts his phone number in and he goes, okay, now I need your phone number. And I'm like, can I just text you or like call you myself? He's like, oh yeah, that's fine. So he literally takes my phone and calls himself with my phone. And I'm just like, um, okay, I was hoping to just get your phone number and then never talk to you again. So he does that, whatever, saves my phone number. And I'm just like freezing cold too. It was so cold. He goes, oh, you look kind of cold. Do you need to leave? And I'm like, actually, yes, I do. <laughs> I need to go right now. And he's like, okay, cool. I'll text you, whatever. And this was on like a Wednesday. And so I'm like all excited to get in my car and away from him. Literally in my car. And I guess I even have a text message of him saying to the guy apparently sitting in the car to stop stalking him because I don't even know why. But he was like, that guy was like stalking me when I was talking to you. I'm like. Yeah, he was making sure I was safe because you were literally crazy. And so I changed his name in my phone to Jason Creepy Guy at the gym. And I deleted the cool guy part. And I didn't get a text message from him on Wednesday, which was like really cool. And I didn't get one on <laughs> Thursday either. I was so excited. I was like, oh, maybe he forgot about me and he just like moved on. And then I got a text message from him on Friday. And this man, this is what he said to me. Hold on, I have to get to the message. I will put these messages on the screen too so y'all can read just how creepy this stuff really is. So this, this is the first message I get from him. <laughs> is this that chick from the gym? Question mark. Do I have to recite my entire dating history for you to stop being stupid? Question mark. And I was like, what are you talking about? Question mark. And he was like, Women always judge me wrong. It's annoying. Like that chick in the gym that was entertaining chumps because that other guy can't like step in to like, you know, save her. And then he goes, I've been on, I've been in dates with over 100 women. And yes, I've had sex with quite a few. I don't consistently talk about it. And people constantly lie about me and women believe it. This is like legit. This is legit what this crap says. Oh, Jason, weird guy at the gym. And then I say, I said, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she liked whoever that guy was that she was talking to. Most girls at the gym are not looking for guys. They're just wanting to work out from all the girls I know. I don't know if you should tell girls that if you are interested in them, maybe wait until you know them better. Who lies about you? Question mark. Like, I was so confused. He goes, nah, she did that just to be a, you know. I called her out and she ran out of the gym. Women have to know why I talk to them. Dumb ones like her try to create a soap opera and that's just annoying. I'm like, what the hell am I talking to? I was like, oh, I see. Why do you talk to them? People at the gym randomly talk to people for all kinds of reasons. It's not just to date them, like whatever. So then he like writes me 1200 messages. He's like, I talk to random chicks to go on dates, of course. <laughs> if you're just going to ignore texts and play games, then I see no reason. To oh, that's what he said on October 16th. So then October 18th, this is what he said to me because I didn't respond to that. He goes, if you're just going to ignore text and play games, then I see no reason to keep texting you. Mind you, this day, October 18th of 2020, my uncle passed away in the hospital. Like literally that day, my uncle passed away. So I was not in the mood to talk to this person. I was super annoyed actually that he was even messaging me i was hoping he would just leave me alone because i didn't respond to the last message but i didn't want to deal with him um and obviously like this was super uncalled for because you know my i was preoccupied with somebody i love passing away for the rest of my life you know um so yeah sorry still a little fresh so it still makes me sad but the just how rude it's just shocking to me so that was the first message and then he goes 
I've had on multiple occasions been leaving the gym and there's been random men sitting in their cars around my car. I recorded the guy the last time and told him to stop stalking me. It has happened it hasn't happened again since. Men lie about me and act like I'm a threat so they can act like they're protecting them from me. It's all a scam they're doing. Anyways, I'm working for like the ninth day straight, so I'm gonna get back to work. So those are all the messages he like sent me and like literally that night that he like stalked me a guy was sitting in his car watching because he wanted to make sure I was okay and so I was like my uncle passed away there are more important things going on in my life right now and I'm not interested in dating right now anyways so I'm sorry you are mad but I don't have time for this kind of stuff in my life and I was so proud of myself because I'm never that mean which that's probably not that mean to some people but to me that was like me being mean and like standing up for myself for once because I'm like too nice so that was like shocking to me that I actually said that and he goes lol I'm not mad at all I texted you like four days ago or something I'm sorry for your loss I hope things get better for you and I was like you sent me a text on Friday thank you he goes okay so you want to come over you can come over tonight and I was like I'm not in the mood to hang out with anyone and he's like I have a joint you can smoke and I was like I don't smoke I actually hate drugs <laughs> and he goes I don't smoke it either lol I just have a party kit which in my opinion sounds like he drugs people why would you have a party kit if you don't use it just saying and he goes I hope you feel better I believe in you Goku and then he goes on the 19th he goes I sarcastically said in the past that I wait Oh, he said, I sarcastically said in the past that I play women. I was being sarcastic, okay. Do you really think I'd like... Do you really think I'd l be like, better not have sex with hot girls? In quotations, I was like, what is this man talking about? And I, li literally, I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> and he goes, rumors, never mind then. Anyways, I hope you feel be or felt better, much like a Pokemon. I was like, I see, thank you. And he's like, are you into video games? So I, this is when I like finally started super ignoring him because he was just like so weird and random and crazy and just like, just this is like weird. This conversation is weird. And he goes, I'm about to play until dawn. You should come chill this week. I don't respond. That was on the 19th. Then on the 20th, he sends me, sends me, <laughs> sends me this like weird Keanu Reeves coloring book. And he goes, I found this and thought you would like it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, so do you lift to be a better fighter, LOL? Because I work out a lot. And that was on the 21st. Then on the 23rd, he goes, hey, so if I paint, oh, yeah, hey, so if I painted your house, would you pay me a lot of money, question mark? And then on the 25th, he goes, okay, well, you, if you decide to actually go out with me, hit me up. And then like, a little bit after he goes actually no never mind I don't like dating women that are like pulling teeth so I will include all of this crap in screenshots so you guys can read it and you can see how bizarre this is um I literally stopped going to my gym after that and started going to a different location and I called my gym and actually became friends with one of the people that works there because of all this and I let him know what was going on and I was like I filed a report at this other location because I don't feel comfortable right now going back to that gym especially with like all these weird text messages that literally make no sense and just keep happening and so I told the person that worked at my old or at my normal gym that I wouldn't be coming in unless Jason wasn't going to be coming in anymore and I showed the other location that I was at these text messages I let them know how he followed me out to my car I let them know that he's been like harassing me when I'm working out and just saying all these bizarre things to me that like I have no idea why and what's scary about him the reason he's so much more terrifying than the other guy and the reason this is so short is because I wasn't gonna let this keep going anymore I was done I'm done letting men get away with stuff that they shouldn't because I'm sick of it and I'm done being like a victim per se of all this crap so I finally I got the guts and I set up for myself because I was so sick of it I don't know if it's because I'm getting closer to 30 maybe that I'm all of a sudden way more I don't know protective of my own 
being or what but definitely wasn't gonna let this go on and on and on until it got super super dangerous because it was already getting crazy enough and these text messages are whack and so I honestly believe there is something wrong, like wrong with him because he doesn't seem to think anything is wrong with him, anything is wrong with his actions. He talks about women so terribly, like worse than those messages, like he calls women the C word and all kinds of stuff, words I do not like using and would never want to use and he's just so aggressive and he thinks there's literally nothing wrong with his behavior which is what's scary about him and so i stopped going to my gym reported it whatever called the guy that works at my gym let him know what was going on and so he would actually let me know if he was coming in like if he was like there or not when i was going to be coming in because he would usually get there around the time i did or a little bit before me like prior i guess and so i made sure like i was going to be safe for me to work out at my gym so i did go to another gym for a little bit and then i finally started coming back to mine in that time frame he also harassed two of the girls that worked at my current gym and was saying all kinds of bizarre stuff to them all this inappropriate stuff like what he was saying to me but even worse and so luckily because of that so this is four women that I know of now that he is harassing four in like three weeks <laughs> so I was like thank goodness like now he's got so many people against him that hopefully they're gonna finally ban him and luckily they did they were like, we already have a report from somebody here about you. Now you're harassing our employees and apparently you also harass some other girls. So you're no longer allowed to come in. So that was like super bomb. So I was like, uh, no, thank you. So they finally banned him. They finally banned him. He's not allowed to come to our gym anymore, which is great because he is terrifying. It wouldn't be so scary if he wasn't so unaware, I guess, of his behavior and thought like, something he doesn't think anything's wrong so that's the biggest issue i think is just that behavior is terrifying so yeah that is my second gym stalker the reason i took i like decided to take care of it so quick is because he literally did terrify me he scared me a lot and like i was already going through a hard enough time i did not need that on top of it like that weekend was a really hard weekend for me it was like my uncle passed away the day before my um one year wedding anniversary like when it would have been so that weekend was just not my favorite it was my first like time realizing you know like i lost someone i love and then reminding me obviously like of other things so i didn't want to put up with him stalking me and being creepy and weird and all the crap that was happening it was just too much and i think that's another reason i stood up for myself so quick is because it was just like it was overwhelming it was just too much and so he is no longer at my gym. He's no longer allowed to come to my gym. If he does, they will not let him in, which is great. I don't even know if he can have a membership at my gym in general, um, like the company, because he does have those reports now for him. And he's just a lot. He's a very like terrifying person. So if you guys are going through something like this, please say something. Do not wait until it gets like super scary. I'm super grateful I didn't. It started to get scary and I said something instead of waiting till it, like waiting to see if it would or not. Um, the feelings I had were definitely things can get a lot scarier because of the like unawareness that he had. So just if something like this is happening to you, please say something. Somebody can help you. Somebody will do something. If you have proof, that's even better because obviously proof is proof, but let someone know even if you don't because if somebody is harassing you, following you, being creepy like that, you do not need that in your life and you do not need to see where it's gonna go because it's not appropriate or okay. People need to realize they can't do this stuff anymore because it's not okay. Like it is not chill at all. And us as women, men even, whoever's being stopped, you need to stand up for yourself because it's just not okay. And people need to really like start learning it's not okay if someone's not interested they're not interested you can't force them to be interested you can't make them yours and if you do obviously that is illegal don't let it get there just say something right away get out of the situation as fast as you can because it is not worth finding out what could happen believe me i'm so happy i did not do that and it was like something so scary that i literally stopped being comfortable in a place I love. I love my gym and I was so uncomfortable to go there. That showed me I need to say something. So if you're going through this, you can get out of it. You've got this. 
you are strong, you are awesome, and you can get away from people like this. You just have to talk to people that can help you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little more serious. It's a little more scary. Um, I'm definitely a lot more alert than I used to be at the gym. I kind of, you know, I mind my own business. I just am there to work out. I'm not there for anybody else. I'm there for myself to get in good shape for myself and my mental state because working out helps me like deal with stress and anxiety and all this stuff, you know, that I go through. So, and it also makes you feel good and look good. So why not? But yeah, that is the story of my second gym stalker. Super creepy. And I will include all the screenshots so y'all can read through it yourselves and see how weird it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We hit over 200 subscribers. If you guys like these Let's Fill the Tea videos, leave a thumbs up on this video and comment below. Tell me if you guys have ever had a creepy gym stalker or if you're dealing with one. So we can like, you know, talk about it so you can talk to the right people. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!